Hello and welcome to another episode of Tribune and Degree, where we talk about all things Power Rangers, including the actors that play them. My name is Brandon. My name is Lena. And, and my name is Will. And today we will be talking about some more... I told y'all we was going to keep, keep you updated on the Austin situation. So it's more Austin, right? Uh, <laughs> We're going to be I talking about more Austin St. John. He <laughs> is the main topic for the most part. Yes. Yeah. He's, he's got, he's got yeah. some interesting updates, too. <laughs> the, if anything at all, really. Let's be, let's be serious. But uh, <laughs> but we're going to get into that. Um, we're going to be talking about the Austin situation. We're also going to be talking about... Um, some things that uh, a certain somebody else had to say, uh, actually said today on live. Um, I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure you all know who that is, but if you don't, buy, if you don't, then you know we're recording it as of um, May 29th. So yeah, by Wednesday, you probably would have already heard this information. But <laughs> um, if you haven't, we're going to talk about th- this certain somebody as well. And we're going to be getting into Good Sam today. Yeah. Which is featuring Davi Santos. Yeah. So let's get right into it. But first, before we do, I just want to remind everybody that we are on an Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, soundcloud and youtube and anywhere else that you can find podcasts just uh go ahead and type in link tr.ee forward slash trapping of the grid and we and you can find us you can find us all over and um yeah go ahead and subscribe like comment listen to all of our stuff uh we have had some great feedback on our previous episode when we were talking about all the things um there was pretty much our whole T uh, Tribunal of the Grid special, <laughs> where it was dedicated to all one person, well, one person and a half. Um, so you know, go ahead and continue to you know check us out. So let's get into it. So all of us know about the alleged Austin St. John situation. All of us know by now, anyway. Um, he is being accused of participating in, uh, PPP fraud. Um, and so on, so he already has, you know, he already has been arraigned. He's already, you know, done his arraignment and everything. He decided to go ahead and plead not guilty. Um, and he right now is a free man. So. A little bit more on that, right? So here are the updates from this past Tuesday. Um, so Austin has not been detained. So that means he is not he's not in jail anymore. But he does have to surrender his passport. Uh, he has been granted limited permissions to travel outside of Texas. So that means he can go and travel and go to cons and things of that nature, but he cannot travel outside of Texas for anything else. The full conditions of his release is complete, is sealed. So um, this comes from Kentucky Jam on Twitter. And also he has some other information as well um, that, you know, pertains to Austin's case. so it also says that uh, the receipt for the receipt for rent for surrender of passport as Jason Lawrence Geiger passport number and then it, oh Jesus Christ it has his number on there Jesus Jesus Jesus, mm. Jesus. we are not we are not naming that <laughs> we're not doing that um, so yes that was there um, and also um, it has all the dates that. Um, all the dates of uh, and places from where he will be traveling to, but um, you know he won't be able to actually um, he won't be able to actually go to any go anywhere else but these places. Um, so basically, what it says is that um, Austin basically 
basically his, his job requires him to travel to different places. So the judge went ahead and granted him only permission to only go to these places. Other than that, he has to remain in Texas. Um, so yeah, guys, what do you think about this? First of all, I'm sorry. I do not understand. This is solely my opinion. Why mm-hmm. is he still going, still going to conventions? Or why is he still allowed to go to conventions? I know innocent to proven guilty. I get that. But at the same time, you're literally asking for, like, chaos. Like Yeah, yeah, that, you, that is a good point. Because, like, you know, some of the fans are not um, nice. No. Yeah. <laughs> and also, um, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I'm not going to say anything else. Some of the people um, just aren't, okay, I guess, equipped to deal with what's going on um, with the situation in a manner mm-hmm. that is respectful. Mm-hmm. So, like, it could just be a really awkward and potentially bad situation because like it's like some really heavy duty accusations yeah. um mm-hmm. so like somebody's going to ask somebody's going to ask quite a few people are going to ask about it i know yeah. and i know he's and i know like, he's going to get tired of it. i know and he's all like i'm not gonna talk about it. i'm not gonna which is okay like obviously lawyer purposes he cannot but on top of that he's not going to but then my thing is like first of all not everyone's gonna see that live second of all Mm-hmm. people just don't care like we said like if they're gonna ask they're gonna mm-hmm. ask and that's only gonna cause more of a chaos environment and at the end of the day the only person you're mm-hmm. frustrating is yourself mm-hmm. 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 oh yes oh yes oh yes and then oh, my yes. other thing is totally not trying to shame it, but it's a genuine question the money he's making now where does that go Maybe to, you know, support his family. Uh, I don't know. Like, I mean, sense, obviously, I mean, we don't know. I wonder sure, if the cows are know. frozen or, or like, mm. you know. Like, I mean, maybe not. Probably not. Because, I mean, they, 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 he did say that that it does say in the, uh, like, the court docket that basically, like, you know, the reason as to why he does go to these cons is because it is money that he does need, you know, to support his family. Exactly. So, yeah. you know, I doubt that they try to, you know, they try to do that. Uh, um, you know, at least for right now, while, you know, everything is going on. Because technically, you know, these are all, you know, he's technically free and everything until it's time for him to go on trial and, you know, and actually have to testify and, you know, all that stuff. Um, so, you know, until that time, I mean, he's still able to, you know, go out and make money and, you know, do what he has to do. Mm-hmm. So, but to, but to both of your points, I agree 100%. I do think that, um, this is a, <laughs> I understand you got the, you know, you got to put food on the table and, uh, you got to go out and make money. Um, but I, um, mm, like, like you said, th- there are so many people out here that do not have the bandwidth and the capacity and the compassion to, you know, be able to respect mm. what's going on. Some people have already written him off and, mm-hmm. you know, it, it is going to create a toxic environment um in terms of you know in terms of you know having a a a a good experience a good con because there's going to be somebody that's going to try to ask him what's going on or there's going to be somebody who's going to who's going to try to mention it or something like that and hopefully austin is not going to pop off hopefully he doesn't you know but i mean with all the stuff going on and like you said there are some fans that just don't have the capacity to to be you know, to keep it chill, you know, it could be a situation where, pray to God that this does it, but it could be a situation where he does get angry. And that's not a good look. So it's just like, mm, mm. 
it's going to be ugly. I, 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 I yeah, from for, for right now, I would probably say now until, you know, until it's time for him to go to trial, to be honest. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be a mess. It's going to be a mess mm-hmm. because, you know, uh, from now until then, until it's time for me to tell his story, mugs are going to already have in their head, like, this man is guilty. Or they're going to feel the way they feel about, you know, about how he, about what he allegedly did. Because as of right now, there is no proof. Like, we don't know. But, you know, until he goes to, pro- until he goes to trial, the court of public opinion you know, they already wrote him off and being like, yeah, he did it. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, you know, th- that's the that's the unfortunate reality of it. But speaking of reality, so he decided to go ahead and go on live. So he, you know, did this whole promotion of like, you know, I'm going to, you know, get on live and talk to the world and you know all this stuff making this big to do right so for those of us who wanted to watch the live and, and, and did watch the live first of all this mug was having technical difficulties like a motherfucker i'm like what is happening like the live was supposed to start at a, <laughs> like it was supposed to start at a certain time and it took forever forever and then when it finally starts <laughs> when it finally starts basically he doesn't say anything obviously because he can't um Basically, all he says is that, you know, his lawyers basically told him not to say anything. But that he does appreciate all the support and, you know, all of the uh, best wishes that fans are giving him. And he also goes on to say that um, for all of the naysayers, he called them poison pills. I thought that was funny. Um <laughs> You know, that, you know, he was like, the truth will come out and, you know, he is innocent and all this stuff. And that's really about it. That was the live. Uh, the live was about, what, like 14 minutes long? I would probably that's say... so way too long for what he actually said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I thought that little piece of, uh, that little, ha- that little piece of uh, fan first Tuesday that Hasbro did, I thought that was way more interesting than that. I was just like, what is this? Like, what is this foolishness? What is this? It was ridiculous. And the thing is, I understand that he couldn't say anything for legal reason, but ultimately, at the end of the day, I'm like, what was the point of the live? Because he literally was like, oh, like, I'll be doing a live. We're going to talk about some stuff. I need to clear it. I need to tell it from my my side of the story, blah, blah, blah. Like, he let it up to think that, like, he was going to spill way more tea than he actually did spill, which was nothing. Mm. Yeah. And, um, I mean, in a, in a sense, that's that would be uh, anybody who thought that he was going to give a lot of information. That's kind of like your own fault, because obviously he couldn't, because legally well, he can't, because that well, would make that would be horrible. Right, that's what I figure, right? But then I guess my point was like, what was the whole idea of the lie then? Uh, probably to get attention. Yeah. Well, no shit. Like, or, or, and also, you know, to try and, you know, legitimately, you know, touch face with the with fans that are genuinely concerned. Yeah. Even though he couldn't really say much. I guess, but I, I guess like. 14 minutes was a really long time for literally. I don't know. Maybe he should have had like a manager or somebody kind of help him out with <laughs> figuring out how to, you know, uh, update people and, and not waste their time. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. All of these things you all are saying are are, are valid and fair. I I cannot. I, I can't say anything else to that. I mean, you all are absolutely correct to me. Um, you know, it's one of those situations for me where I would have been like, I would have had my publicist or, you know, somebody come out and speak on my behalf and just be like, hey, just to let you know, I'm doing fine. Um, everything is okay. Um, and yeah, please support, um, please continue to support and, you know, I will be at this con on this day, this day, this day, this day, this day, this day, this day. And yeah, Tyrannosaurus, you know, something like, I don't, I, <laughs> I don't know, but that's more of my, more online with what I would have done in that type of situation. I sure wouldn't have tried to garner that kind of attention by you know being like oh yeah i'm going to be doing this you know this live on this day i'm going to be streaming so check it out you know no right. no he's no like i understand like i understand where like you know where will's like well that's your fault if you expected it but at the same time he led you to believe that he was gonna say way more than he said and i get that again legal yeah he absolutely did you know, like for legal reasons, you can't say a lot. And I kind of figured that. But at the same time, I was like, yeah, but you're also insinuating that you were going to give us some tea. Yeah, so we did. That's not our fault for thinking that. I'm sorry. And I mean, also, too, you know, I will say this, too. You know, yes, you know, we should have, you know, for the most part, not we sh most people shouldn't shouldn't expect you know him to you know say anything other than what he said but also it's giving like you know you can't say anything anyway you know what i'm saying like and honestly to be true like to be truthfully honest i think personally you saying anything getting on live even saying i'm innocent or whatever just be quiet don't say anything at all you know, I am one of those people who I just firmly believe just especially if you're dealing with any type of case, dealing with, you know, court and, you know, all this stuff, the less you say, the less anyone can use that against you in the court of law. Just don't say anything. I understand you're trying to update your, 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 your fans and all of that. I get it. But just don't say anything. Just don't say anything. Like I said, if you want to say something, just tell people, look, thank you for your support. I'm going to be at this con. Continue to support. That's it. Like, you don't need to be like, oh, I'm innocent. And uh, no. So, yeah, that's my that's my two cents on that. I thought that that mess was dumb anyway for him to do regardless. But that's just me. Um, well, I'm pretty sure that's not just me. I'm pretty sure that was a lot of people. Uh, <laughs> um, but, you know, like I said earlier, we are recording on May 29th, 2022. So on to more positive news. <laughs> on to more lighter news because, you know, we don't want you know, to talk too much about all this other foolishness. That is going on, right? Um, we want to talk about things that we actually like. So let's get into Good Sam because this show, y'all, like we said last week, if you have not watched it, we encouraged you to watch it because, frankly, this show slaps. Like, it slaps. Mm -hmm. And I just want the people to know. Um, so let's get right into it. So for those of you who do not know, Good Sam is, it, it features, it features Davi Santos, who played um, Sir Ivan in Power Rangers Dino Charge and Power Rangers Dino Supercharge. And he also made, you know, his cameo appearances in Beast Morphers. So this talented young man is in this show. Now, granted, he doesn't do much. He doesn't do much in this, in this, in this pilot, in the pilot episode. But, mm -hmm. you know, we pretty much kind of know he's going to be one of the nurses, you know, in the show. 
well, one of the doctors, excuse me, in the show, right? So basically the show is about a doctor who, a young doctor who, whose father, she, she works under her father. And basically he, her father ends up getting hurt. He ends up getting shot, almost killed. Um, and in, while he's recovering, she basically takes over and she becomes the head doctor. Which now, while he recovers, he wants to try to re- come back to his former glory as, you know, the head doctor, which that causes some, some drama amongst her peers and everybody else. So, thoughts. What are your thoughts about this show in general before we actually talk, start talking about specifics? Okay. What are your thoughts about this so show? Overall... I'm not going to lie. This pilot episode has me intrigued. At first, mm-hmm. it seemed with Sophia, Sophia Bush, for me, she she's always going to be that one tree hill girl. I don't care what anyone says. So I was already like, what is this? Like one tree hill mixed with like Grey's Anatomy. Like, what am I expecting here? You know, and to be mm-hmm. completely honest with you guys, I actually went into this without any anything other than the fact that it's like a doctor is show. So I, I have no idea who these people are. I'd look into the summary and I just went into this blindly. And so when she got introduced, I'm like, you know, it seems very much like a Grey's Anatomy situation, right? Which I'm like, you know, I love Grey's Anatomy, so I'm here for it. But man, the plot twist that kept coming out, mm-hmm. I was like, I was not expecting all these plot twists. Like this and then that. Like Will and I watched it together, and it's so entertaining when we watch it together because <laughs> Will always has the opposite thoughts of what I usually do. Like we both think, like you know, the not the same things at all. So it's always interesting to see who ends up being right at the end with the storyline. Um, mm. so that was really funny, and I guess like I not I find it interesting in the sense too because it's nice to see different perspective on how we perceive things, right? So mm-hmm. even though we are very similar in terms of what we like, we perceive things very differently. And those plot twists either prove us r- both wrong completely or we had no idea that was even happening. And mm-hmm. the plot twist, I'm just going to say right out of her, because we you already said it. Um, Not yet. Not yet. No. Okay. All <laughs> right. No, I was going to say the first thing because you already said it in your summary. It was already- oh, the dad, the dad. Yeah. Oh, the dad getting yeah. yeah. So like, I didn't know that was her dad until until she screamed, "Dad!" Right, 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 right. Yeah. So that was like, oh, okay, yeah. I thought I thought maybe she was like having like an affair with him. So she's probably gonna, like. So at first I thought maybe she was having an affair with him, right? But then she said, mm-hmm. "Dad," and I went, "Dad." That's even worse. Right. What, what happened to him was. A big surprise. I'm not. And then the fact that the fact. Yes, 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 yes. So he got shot. That surprised the hell out of me. Like I somebody know. coming in the damn, in the damn uh, hospital and 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 shooting. Oh, so I that know. yeah, that surprised me. Her saying that that was her dad surprised me, and then him waking up surprised me. Wait, they, we didn't get that far, but yeah. <laughs> What? No, he said he said it beforehand. He said it oh, beforehand because, okay. yeah, yeah, but, that um, didn't surprise yeah. me. But him getting shot, that was not a surprise because for me, like the way he was, you're gonna bound to make a lot of enemies, and especially when you're in a position where you have to have empathy and sympathy for you know for for the for your patient's family, right? So the, the way he's very uh, like abrupt with everything and very like ah. Uh, like three to one chances you'll survive. Eh, it's okay. Well, we're not going to take our chance. You know, like, I'm, I don't know the ratio. I'm bullshitting it. But like, you know, like, it just like, it's just that cockiness and that like, um, that super dry way of delivering things. You're going to, you're bound to piss somebody off. Yeah. And, you yeah. know, and, and when people are emotionally unhinged, like that's, you're asking to be murder essentially. And I'm surprised he lasts as long without being murdered. I mean, he's very good, very, very good at his job. 
it's just how he he treats people like um within the job that's not great like i, I or well even though actually he i'm not sure Jefferson. like he it Remember Sorry, how when he delivered like um, news to like the family stuff like that, he was very dry about it. Mm-hmm. Actually, you know what? I watched it that one time. I don't know if you went back or not. I watched it the one time. The thing that really stuck out to me with his character was the way that he treated his daughter. So I actually don't really remember um, how he he was like the example you just gave. I actually didn't remember that. I kind of, um, I just remember he was really, really uh, cold and undermined his daughter, who's, you know, a, a doctor herself. So like that, um, so he did, he, he was not so great to the other people as well, huh? Yeah, like, especially the patient. I think like they mm-hmm. were in the waiting room and, um, Someone came in, they're like, uh, my wife is bleeding or something like that. But maybe you can jump in, but I don't remember the exact scene. Oh, that sounds familiar. Yeah, yes. and then he was like, uh, he looks at them while they're bleeding. He's like, oh, you'll be fine. It's not that critical. Because something else was going on. That was right before he got shot, right? Right, and I'm just like, uh. but how are you to stand there and literally tell this person that they're bleeding out, that they're okay, because something more critical is happening? You thought it was that, or did you think maybe like he's the thing where he's such a great doctor, like he just well, instantly knows? You have to. I don't, well, the things you have to remember: people don't know that he's a great doctor. His, we we mm. haven't gone to the point where he's actually like well known. We don't know that. It's not like in Grace Anatomy where people actually recommend you to go see Doctor McDreamy or Doctor McSteamy because they are the best in the country, kind of thing, right? We haven't established any of that stuff. And from what it sounds like, he's not well known outside of his like hospital. Mm-hmm. You know, like people don't know him as being well known. Like as a patient, like when you go to the hospital, you don't even know your doctor half the time. So how are you going to you know, go into the ER and go, yeah, he's a great doctor. He can tell me whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, that's not, you know what I mean? That's not our mentality, right? Like you go into the ER because you're bleeding out. You got shot. You're going to the ER. You're not thinking like, I'm going to go to the ER and see the best doctor ever. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, so it's not like, so, I, so like, I guess that's patience. Like your thought is, can you save us? You know, you're not thinking like you're a great doctor. I, I understand that you feel that someone else is more critical than I am. Like people don't like to hear that someone else is better than, or is, I well, it's not better because you're in a hospital, but like, I guess everybody wants to be saved. They don't want to hear that their injury is greater than let's say my injury, you know, because in my mind, I'm thinking, well, my injury is just as great. I'm in just as much pain, even though probably not even the same thing, but we don't think that way, right? We're thinking we're always the one um, in greater pain than another person for the most part. Mm-hmm. Especially mm-hmm. when you're in the ER, you know, I, again, like, yeah. obviously, if yeah. I came with a sore throat and I'm coughing off blood, I'm concerned. I'm like, yes. something has happened. I'm going to die. You know, that's why I'm in the ER, right? But I don't think that this person who's got shot, okay, maybe I do, but like, but again, we don't know what people the, uh, what goes through everyone's mind whether they're sitting in the ER as well, too, right? So for him to come out and be like, ah, you'll be fine, you know, this person's literally bleeding to death. Mm-hmm. Well, so, uh, yeah. Now, I, I, I don't know. For that part, that let's just let's just go ahead and get into it. That opening scene with you know with how I think first of all with the way that it was going you would have never thought that what was going to happen happened because that's that first scene is very long before we even get to the title card like it's a couple minutes long yeah Mm -hmm. and it's like you know you're just going through just watching this man (laughs) i'm not gonna lie to you that man running through the hospital and her chasing him the patient Yes. Like, oh, <laughs> like, that shit was fucking hilarious. I hollered. Yeah. I was screaming because I'm just like, why is this man running through the hospital? He is running through the hospital <laughs> like a Tomb Raider. 
What is going on? My thing yeah. is, so, like, why is the doctor chasing him on top of all of that? Right. I'm like, girl, you can't run no faster than that. Like, what are you doing? Because this man is literally jogging. <laughs> he is jogging to the uh, hospital, and she is like, I'm like, what are you doing? And so, on top of that, he's like the patient. He's not supposed to be doing well. Right. And he is hauling ass. Hmm. I'm like, oh my God. So. <laughs> You know, she's talking to him and he finally gets her, well, she finally gets him to agree to the to the surgery or whatever, which is like, okay, cool, right? And then, of course, you find out that she has heart surgery as well, right? You know, so it's like, mm-hmm. oh, okay, that's cute. You know, all that stuff. And like, all right, fine, whatever. The one thing that I thought, because like, honestly, to be truthfully honest, I didn't even know that any of that stuff was going to come back full circle. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just thinking that, you know, it was just, oh, it's just something that she was just using just to kind of like, you know, identify with him. You know, right, like, you know, right. I had the same thing happen to me. You know, you'll be fine. Yeah. So then old dude comes in. She's talking. I kind of had a feeling. Well, let me backtrack. I already knew that that that, that was her father. I already knew only because I watched like a clip of it, like right when the show was coming out. Oh. And it and it mm-hmm. said that that was her father. So I already oh. kind of knew that that was her father. So I would kind of walked into it already knowing that tidbit of information. But the part that got me, because I because honestly, I've seen the the whole, you know, I've seen the clips. So I already knew that they were that he was still alive. But when he got mm-hmm. shot, I was like, oh, oh God. <laughs> like mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, 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 okay. Um, but I'm not gonna hold you though. The way he read, he came in that room and he read everybody fulfilled before it was time to do surgery. <laughs> I was like, now see, we would have had to fight. Because yeah. you ain't gonna talk about me like that. Like, like he just came in there and dragged everybody. Like, so you are a narcissist. You like it was just like excuse me. Um you know, so I I personally enjoyed that first half, uh, that well, that first couple, that first scene, well, couple scenes before we got to the side of the car where he got shot. Now, I'm gonna ask. Now, in terms of, because there was there, there were a couple of storylines floating around, you know, on this whole show, because they had like they had several moving parts in this episode. How did you all feel about the episode in general? Did you feel like all the parts worked together? Did you feel like everything was a good pace? Did you think, feel like anything was too slow? Or did you feel like everything was moving too fast? Like, and they were trying to do too much in one episode. Like, what did you, how do you feel about the pacing of the show? Oh, wow. Um, we didn't even I, think about that. I, I enjoyed it. Like, it, 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 they did a good job of making me want to see more. They're definitely, they packed a lot in there. Yeah. That yeah. I hope, I hope in the, because this is, um, I don't know if every show's like this now since the, the pandemic um, of, you know, they like reduced the, the season order because it's only, is this only nine or 13? 13? Episodes? I talking about in terms of like the whole season. Episodes. Yeah. Episodes. I don't know. So I, I I hope that they everything that they introduced that it, it will get its payoff, you know, throughout the season. And I think if it if it has um kind of you know lesser um episodes it, there might not be so much of that filler and that fluff that gets in the way of resolving things that have been established mm-hmm. so um i just I, i'm just hoping that they 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 everything gets a uh, a good payoff but i i really i liked that they introduced so many things because it, it got me really excited to to watch more okay what about you, Lena? What do you think? I like um, I'm not sure if it's because I was watching with Will and like or what have you, but I did feel like everything like I now that we're talking about it, I didn't realize how much they packed in there. 
But overall, I did feel like everything kind of like flowed along to tell the storyline, you know, like to kind of get there. There's some cheesy parts, but like for the most part, it was it floated. It floated a lot quicker than I had expected. And it packed in a lot. And I feel like they're trying to it's like Grey's Anatomy, but like on a um, on the more comedy side of things from what I from what I'm that's the vibe I'm getting. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. I like it. it yeah, good. yeah. I yeah. agree. I like I like that it has that um has more of a comedy feel than some of the uh the hospital dramas that we have. Absolutely. Like it 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 works. Like there there are a lot of things that because I will say there are a lot of shows that does try to have several moving pieces all at once. And what ends up happening is they'll do too much, you know, they'll do too much. And then all of a sudden it's like, now there's a piece of, there's a storyline or there's a piece of story that just doesn't work or it doesn't get much attention or it's not fleshed out well because they're trying to do too much all at once. Um, You know, so I do actually enjoy that they were able to, it feels like everything complemented everything, you know? Um, and they were even able to go back and, you know, bring up certain things, you know, because it was, you know, complementary to the actual story and it actually helped push the story along for the episode. So I actually enjoyed the pacing of it a lot. I enjoyed the pacing of this episode a lot. Like, I really liked that. Um, was there anything in this episode that stuck out to you? um in terms of like you know how it went or you know just in terms of like you know what it anything that like made you like ooh chow like you know because I, oh, I already have mine sure. like, for sure um we already talked about the the shooting and then him getting um out of the coma after for after like six months and then trying to get straight back to work. And just the dynamic with his daughter where he just totally undermines her. That that was something like, wow, for me. But, oh, man, and you know exactly what I'm about to say. When we find out that her best friend has yes. been having an affair with her daddy. With her daddy. Or, or, or had, had a previous affair with one. We thought and it from, was the ex-boyfriend. We were yes, wrong. that's what I thought. And then when her dad her walked daddy. up. What? <laughs> her daddy. Her daddy. I was like, her dad? I am i don't know how I feel <laughs> about that, to be completely honest with you. I feel like, for me, that's quite disturbing in the sense that, like, you're my friend and you're hooking with my father. And they work together. They all and work they together. work together. Well, this, this is the Grace Anatomy part of it. You know, they all sleep together one at one point or another. But <laughs> the point of the matter is, is that that's her dad. That's so awkward. That oh, we would have had to square up. I would have been like, we would have had to square up. I'd have been like, you got to meet me outside, sis. You got to meet me outside. Because, girl, what you're not going to do is you're not going to sit here and play in my face. Because that's exactly what she did. Yeah. Like, let's just be very clear. She played all in home girl face. Like, you know, because basically what, because basically, like, you, when daddy came back, when daddy came back in the fold and was, you know, stepping all on her toes and still acting like he's the head, the head M in charge, the head man in charge, you know, she's sitting here trying to like, you know, trying to hold the team together. And you mm-hmm. over here siding with him. You know what I'm saying? And then it comes out that you still seeing him. And y'all had a previous relationship and he over at your house right now. Like that is the that's some that's some wild shit. So I'm like, high key, I you know, I respect her for being like, you know, we still got to pull through because we still need each other to do this surgery. But also at the same time, I'm like, nah, sis, like I gotta cuss you out first. And then, you know, I don't want no hard feelings. Let's go ahead and get to work. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, but there has to be some sort of something because I'm, girl, you hid from me the entire yeah. time that you were sleeping with my daddy. Like, who does that? Mm-hmm. Who does that? And I mean, you can kind of see something when you really think about it. You can kind of mm-hmm. see something at the very beginning of the episode where, you know, she's like, she's talking. Well, he was, you know, talking to everybody and, you know, he goes to her and he says a real snide remark, but he doesn't say he doesn't say anything too mean to her. Like he digs into everybody else except for her. Even mm. his own daughter. He I didn't even realize that. But he mm. doesn't say anything too rude to her. To the sister. Which I'm like, mm, that was the clue right there. That was mm. the clue. That was the clue. That y'all had something going on. When I seen him walk around that corner, I'm like, oh girl, we gotta fight. We gotta fight, sis. Oh. Ooh, so yeah, no, mm, 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 mm. yeah, yeah. So I'm wondering. Hold on. So wait a minute. So, so because we know that those two are divorced, right? Like her mom and dad. We know that her mom and mm-hmm. dad are divorced. Now, do you think that maybe that other doctor had something to do with um them breaking up? No, I I think that it happened years prior because he, where we've seen it, we've seen it be at least I thought it was established that after the accident that Sam had when she was a kid, um, the dad kind of he he just he threw himself into work. And then that had a toll on the relationship with him and his daughter and him and his wife. So I, I assume that it happened years prior, like, like 15, 20 years prior. The reason why I ask is because, you know, it seemed like they were still together. It didn't seem like that broke them to that, that broke them up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not sure. Cause they never really, to me, they never really specified whether or not, you know, that had anything to do with anything to me. It, it didn't really seem like it did. It felt more like it was like, oh, well, you know, you went ahead and, you know, we, we still was trying to make it work, but this definitely strained our marriage for sure. Like this strained it, mm-hmm. but I it didn't really make it seem like they were actually broken up until much later on. That's what it kind of felt like to me. I mean, I guess it's different for everyone, everyone obviously, but damn, you think she could work with them after he cheated on her? And and work with the jump off? (laughs) Right. 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 So I don't I, I don't know. Like that's that's the thing. I'm just so confused about you know all this. Cause because and maybe and maybe perhaps. She knew that there was, you know, another woman, but maybe she didn't know it was her. Mm. You know, so I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I guess wow. we have to watch create, more. That could create some drama for later on. Damn. Drama. Drama. Because if she did, if she knew that there was another woman, but didn't know that it was her. Oh, child. Oh, child. That's all I got to say on that. Like, uh, ooch, uh, I, I, it does kind of make me want to watch more because now I want to, now I want to see what's going to actually happen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now I'm ready to see more. Um, but yeah, so then let's talk. Speaking of speaking of people being messy, child, messy. So that was the situation of one of the patients in the episode. So he got caught cheating because his ass yes. went on, on his little business trip and fucked around with some other helper and ended up contracting a disease child. What do y'all think about that story? Like, this is another one um, where we kind of had differing opinions on what was going on. 
Okay. I thought that this was a domestic violence situation. Me too. Me too. But, okay. but Lena right away knew that he's cheating on her. And oh, fact- yeah. I was like, Uh-oh. no, well, I'm pretty sure he cheated. Oh. Well, then both of us would have been wrong because, child, I just knew. <laughs> I just knew. I was like, oh, she she is beating his ass. No, That's what this is. In the way, in the way that she didn't want to really talk about what was going on. Or no. he didn't really want to talk about what was going on. So right. how I caught on was the look that he gave her and her look in return. It was the look of sadness. Mm. She had the sad look. She had the, or sad, he had look. the sad look. She he had, had the, the sad look. Oh, she had the she sad look. He had the sad look. Like they him, it was he also had it, but it was more obvious on her face because you have to remember mm. he can get the sad look, but his sad look could be like I've been abused, right? Like I'm a right. mm-hmm, talk mm-hmm, about mm-hmm. it. So that's why his look didn't count, like it didn't matter to me. It was her reaction. It was the clue that I picked up that she he had cheated on her. Mm. Okay. okay. Yeah, because if she looked, because like you know how like because like if she was the abuser, she would have had a different look, right? He would have looked sad regardless, because if he mm-hmm. was abused, mm-hmm. he would have been sad, like oh I can't say anything, right? But or obviously in his case he cheated, so he was still sad. So either way, he was in a sad position. He was in a position where he should not have been in essentially, right? But it was her reaction is what gave me the clue that he cheated. But to me, she to me she was angry. Like oh, she was. That's like, what I thought. So yeah. I thought for sure I was like, yeah, I'm get, I'm picking up that she is upset, and I'm like, oh, so she beat your ass, no, and no. you it's just like, I don't want to say nothing because I don't want you know what I'm saying because of course yeah. we all know the whole story of like men being abused yeah. and you know they yeah. don't want to you know say anything about it yeah. they're kind of like you know i don't want to say nothing because i know i would probably be believed yeah you know what i'm saying so yeah. mm-hmm. which you know we can kind of just kind of mirrors real life which, mm-hmm. is true, which is true so when will said it too, right like, yeah when he said that i wasn't against it i was like you know what i guess we'll have to wait and see because you have a you have a valid point too right like he could actually be beaten as well but so, i don't know but i just felt like no i don't think like it was like I think for me it was her eyes. It was the way her eyes like positioned it. She acted. When you want to talk about people who acted, she did. She said nothing, but she acted. She acted her butt off for that one mm. look for that one look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, like everybody was get was 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 giving beats, honey. Everybody yeah. was acting yeah. in this show. I was like, oh shoot now. Come on, Cass. Right, right. Yeah. So she acted like she she delivered it. And I and it was good. So it was really good that like we both had different opinions because then obviously now we're like, oh, all right, let's see what happens. So I think that's right. kind of what I meant too when I was like, I, I'm not sure because I was watching with Will and we're both kind of guessing what was happening. And we were we both had different like opinions of it that made the mm-hmm. show more entertaining for us. Um, I'm not sure. I think if I I'm not sure. I think if I watched it on my own, I probably would have not finished it, to be honest with you. Cause it's not really my kind of show. It just seemed cheesy. <laughs> Well, let's keep going. Well, let's keep going because yeah. you know, and then we'll give our opinions at the end. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, I mean, honestly, I wasn't really expect. Like, I didn't know what to expect in terms of that. But what I will say is, I, I what I will say is what really did kind of like made me go, oh, okay, was the fact that you know. There was, we're sitting here thinking, oh, it was domestic violence, um, you know, situation. But then it, they were like, well, okay, if it was, you know, domestic violence, then it the swollen lip would have went down by now. Mm-hmm. It, it, we He still has his bump on his lip. Like, what is this? Right. And they're like, well, the antibiotics is not, like, it's not working. And then he ended up, you know, having, you know, a situation going on with his heart. And they're like, oh, shit. Okay, so what are we going to do? Right. And they're like, well, you know, he might need to get a heart transplant. You know, and it was just like, it was a lot happening. It was. Um, <laughs> I yeah. was like, what, what is happening? 
Um, you know, so my thing is, okay. So first of all, like, let's just t- real fast. I just want to go back just for a second. Homegirl got upset with, um, first of all, she already know how controlling and how difficult her dad is. She already knows this. Riddle me this, Batman. Why in the devil would you agree to be your dad's, you know, whatever, whatever that um, thing is? What do they call it? The, um, not spokesperson. It's escaping me too. Oh gosh, what's the name of that uh, word? But you know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know what so, you're talking about. So, like, protect- we were, oh. and we, and we were, um, Lena asked me what the word meant too, and I Googled it, and I don't know where <laughs> that went. Damn it. Lord. It's not a subordinate. It, it's like, it's like a, 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 it's like a word that can also be like subordinate. Not a subordinate. No, not that either. She basically supervises him. Yes. On his way to trying to uh, prove that he's ready to get back to work after six months in a coma. Right. Right. I just so, can't think of the word. We're just going to say supervise right now. We're yeah. just going to say supervise. Mm-hmm. So, you know, she's tasked with, you know, being, you know, his, you know, supervising him. And it's like, girl, you know your daddy don't want to listen to you anyway. Like, he right. wants to yeah. monopolize everything. Like, you know this about your father. Why are you, why would you expect, oh, he's in, he was in a coma, so that might want to, that might change him. No. no. That doesn't change him because yet, it, 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 because for him, time, no time has passed. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. No time has passed. You know, you know, I just responsibility. No, girl. I guess in her head, he has such. um, I don't know how traumatic it was because it, you know, he didn't know that it happened. Um, it was like a life changing event, and I guess maybe she thought that that uh, would change him, but no. no <laughs> it didn't at all and well, he still was being an asshole and i'm like girl the way if if he would have walked first of all when they were talking to the um to the doc when they were talking to the to the uh the patient and he asked her which one is dr griffin or whatever i'm like right then and there after we had that talk and we went back to the office and he went back in there and he was trying to change shit and trying to run stuff right then mm-hmm. and there, like okay i'm done I'm passing you all mm-hmm. because yeah. what you ain't gonna do, you ain't doing this. No, and then I just have to say this real quick. And then she obviously confines in her friend in it, and her friend is like, you know, obviously sign with the father and everything like that. If I'm not gonna lie, this is the part where Will and I also had like, we're, so Will was like, I think she was in her feelings about it, and I was like, no, I think she genuinely wants to know what happened, what is happening with this patient. And she wanted support, and her friend was not giving her that support because her mm-hmm. obviously we already knew at this point that her friend was yeah 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 yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but like that, that, that really yeah. bothered me. I would I would piss me off if my team didn't have my back, especially right. in front of him, especially after yeah. Him and you proving yeah, I- that you can do a good job taking care of everybody. Right. Yeah. Us us learning about the uh, the affair definitely put the way that her best friend acted in a complete made me view it completely differently yeah that's yeah that yeah because her best friend yeah. doing what she did i'm like girl no i'm sorry no the way i would have been like like i said earlier I, it would have definitely been meet me outside sis <laughs> meet me outside because no catch you ain't gonna outside. do that to me okay catch me outside how about that like Girl, no, like, no, but okay, so they went ahead, had the surgery, you know, and we're like, all right, all right, all right, we're there. They had to, you know, do they had to go ahead and do the surgery, do the heart surgery, and she's like, look, I need all of y'all, I need all of y'all help, let's do this, right? It's like, all right, cool, bet. 
they all get together. And then, of course, you know, they got to do this miraculous heart surgery. This is when it got cheesy for me. I'm not going to lie. It did get cheesy. Because it was like, they were like, well, you know, this heart surgery, no one else can do it. You know, this, this heart surgery is like, no one, no one has ever been able to do this. But my dad. And I'm like, oh, come on. No, we're not doing this. And of course, of course, he's standing on like right <laughs> outside, obviously. And he's like, I'm going to go call him, you know? And he's like, right there, like, do you need my help? And she's like, yes, dad. And he's like, all right, I got you, baby. And he comes in and he's like, well, I can't really actually do anything because, you know, it's, it's against practice. Like, I can't do anything right now. And she's like, well, just walk me through it. I got it, dad. Just walk but, me through it. Yo, and I'm like, ah. Been, wouldn't him just being in the freaking room be against practice yes i, like I mean he's even been in the room he shouldn't even been in the room but <laughs> okay whatever you know we're just gonna take the show as is you know what i'm saying it's a tv show it's yeah. a tv show but also yes he shouldn't have been there because that is against practice but whatever <laughs> And you know that's why I was like, this right, this is this is cheesy. So yeah, I do understand where you're coming from, Lena. I'm like, yeah, no, um, you know. But afterwards, but the part I did love, the part I did love, was when after it was all over, and her and her dad was standing there talking, and she was like, you know, I'm very happy about what happened you know, tonight and how everything fared and everything. But I do want to let you know that as a, as our relationship, as, you know, mother and daughter, uh, not mother and daughter, father and daughter, that is strained. Like, you know, that, that's going to be tough, but I'm still going to respect you as a doctor. And when she Mm -hmm. walked up and was like, have a good night doctor and doesn't even refer to him as her Mm -hmm. father. I, I love was like, that. yes, yeah. ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. You better reclaim your power, sis. Mm. I know that's right. I love, now I'm not going to lie. I got, I love that part. I was like, okay, okay. The show is back on track for me. Okay, it's back on track. Because I was like, that whole little part with them, you know, the whole little, oh, you know, we got to save this patient, you know, and then, Oh, but the surgery is only no one has ever done the surgery before except for your dad. He's not here, you know, like that. No, like I was over that. Um, but I really enjoyed that part. So yes. Um, what no, oh, another part, real fast. Another part that I also liked was that banter between her and the uh the black guy in the elevator who actually turned out to be one of the oh right, right. that shit them. was funny i'm rooting for them <laughs> me too yeah me too. i didn't expect that like he's a straight up uh love interest and they established that quickly 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 and he he looked good too i said hey hey you know what hey, Mr. Tall what and dark liked, chocolate he hey. saw what he liked and he went after it Okay. Mm-hmm. I said, hey, Mr. Tall Glass of Chocolate Milk. <laughs> look at you. Like, look at you. When I saw him, I'm like, mm, he fine. Okay. That's a good looking man. I say, all right. That, they threw me a swerve because, you know, it was established that she dated one of the, one of the other doctors at one point mm-hmm. and he broke it off. So right. I'm thinking that they're going to like, <clears throat> that's going to be the story. And then yeah. we see the black dude ah, show up and now he's, he's, he's the love interest. I mean, I, I guess we did see at the end of the episode, the ex, he, he now sees that he was acting rashly and he wants another, another shot. So I guess Which I'm like, like mm-hmm. no, no. Well, you got this brother, this brother with money. With money. Uh, with money, with money. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't know. That seemed like a deal breaker, right there. Right, and not even <laughs> I'm just girl, right? baby. And not even just that, but what I was gonna say too is that, like, at the end of the day, she seems like the type of girl that, like, she'll move forward. She's not gonna move backwards. Right, mm. right. 
Because it does seem that, like that, yeah. Yeah, because the fact that, like, she did that with him, and then she did that with her father, like, I hope mm-hmm. so, because I would, I hate, I hate those kind of girls that keep going back, and it's like, you know, that's not what you want. You know, yeah. you, you yeah. weren't getting what you initially want out of it. And you have to take, keep this in mind. It took him all of six months for him to be like, I think I made a mistake. Right. Six right. Months, Which means you months. you looked in this woman's face for over six months. And not one time did you come up to her and be like, eh, well, you know, I think I might make a mistake. You know, <laughs> anything at any anything. point. Six months. I'm sorry. Six months, my guy. It's a long fucking time. <clears throat> so excuse her for moving to Mr. Tall Chocolate Glass of Milk. Is that what you just said? I don't know what you call yes. it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, with money. So with money. So I'm just saying there's no competition there at all. None. So, None. Uh, I, I wonder if the ex, like, if he was embarrassed, maybe. Because, you know, sometimes you you make a decision, you start to second guess it, and it's like, oh, my God, like, how do I even go to this person to, to like, stake my claim and, like, say, like, oh, I, I messed up. I... <sighs> or it could be a situation where he just, you know, like, oh, now you now you realize it. Mm-hmm. Why did you think that that was a bad idea in the first place? Like, I... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, like I'm sorry, but I'm not rooting for him. You had your time and <laughs> I'm not either. <laughs> you know, too bad, so sad. Like sis is moving on to bigger and better. Right. So... Like she she became well, she became chief. She like got all the things. Like all I'm saying is like it doesn't matter if he's embarrassed or not. At the end of the day, that should not reflect who you are as a person with your feelings towards her. Okay. Boom. Boom. Hello. Hello. You liked her? You got spooked because she asked about the future? I understand mm-hmm. that. You know what? The future is scary. Commitment can be very scary, especially if you have, you know, um, trauma from the past. I get that. I'm not against that. You know, like sometimes moving forward for us can be a lot, but it doesn't take long for you to realize whether or not that person is going to be right for you. That and yes, and also let's be very clear if you're having issues like that, you can always like talk about it instead of just being like, Oh, I'm just gonna clam up, like, and not say anything. Like, if you have any type of issues or any problems, especially with the person that you're dating, and it, with something like that, like, you can't just up and just be like, Oh, yeah, no, like, I'm just gonna go ahead and just like not do anything, like, you know. It, like right then there it shows that you weren't mature enough at the time. Like you're not mature enough. Bye. And you know, the, yes, you may have matured in the six months, but also too, no one is entitled to wait for you to mature. No. Nope. If she doesn't want to wait, that's that's on her. Yeah. And you had your time, you weren't ready. So it is what yep. it is. You might have to get left behind, baby. You know, <laughs> you mm-hmm. might have to get left behind. You know, so I'm sorry, but I am team tall, dark, and handsome. Like, same. Sorry, no. Leave his behind and dust. So I'm actually very interested to see how this relationship go. So as turn, you know what? Let's just go ahead and rate it. Let's go ahead and rate it. Let's go ahead and do this because, child, I'm 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 gassed. I am gassed. Honey. I'm giving it four and a half out of five. Okay. Okay. Will, will you, how about you? I'm going to agree with that. I really liked it. Four and a half. Four and a half? Mm. Hmm. Well, damn. <clears throat> I was going to give it a four. <laughs> Not saying that I didn't like it. Uh, Obviously, it's best, a four. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, like, but you know, it's just like four and a half. Damn. I was going to give it a four. But, uh, <laughs> But no, like, I really enjoyed it. I really so, enjoyed the show. Mm. I just would have wished we could have seen more Davi. And we could have had yeah, more. Yeah, I was about to say, Davi definitely is a serious regular. We didn't say nothing about him. We did see him extremely brief. Well, not, maybe not extremely brief. He was in there. He was in a couple of scenes um, here and there. Yeah, here and there. Um, 
Yeah, he had yeah. some speaking but lines, but he ain't really, yeah. you know, did nothing. There is definitely going to be more of him. I, I found an article um, on the Advocate where he spoke a little bit about what to expect from his character. I'm gonna, mm-hmm. um, I'm gonna read it real quick. All right, so. Um, all right, so it says, um, it seems like there's this sub- subtle reflection of the two sides amongst the residents, even though it doesn't seem like anyone is really rooting for Griff to stick around that much, Santos says. Uh, Joey kind of, and that's his character, Joey, Dr. Joey Constance. Joey kind of has these elements that resonate with Griff's. For one, Santos says his character is extraordinarily dedicated, almost to a fault. Joey is the one who carries a book around with him the entire time, soaking up as much information and knowledge as possible. It comes out that he's almost aggressive to be the best, Santos says. Griff in the first episode says that this isn't a damn circle. This is a competition to see who's sort of the best surgeon. And Joey is one of the only residents to really take that to heart. That dedication and that commitment become a character flaw, Santos shares. Joey has to learn that he needs to work with his team. He just wants to be the chosen one. And that's, that's what he said about his character. So that's mm. something broad that we can look forward to seeing. Dramatic, mm. hopefully. Mm. Mm, you can kind of see that. You can kind of see that. I, I now that he now that now that he said that, now that you read that and looking at and thinking about the character, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense because he does kind of have this, you know, this pompous attitude when they were talking, and you know, he made that remark about you know he'd rather just do you know um, uh, cosmetic surgery. You know, he, he'd rather do that any day. And they talked about how vain he was and all that stuff. And, mm-hmm. you know, he, he did kind of give off that vibe. So, yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Well, listen, I want to see more because I want to see what is given. Um, but mm-hmm. definitely, I thought that Doc <clears throat> did a fantastic job so far. Um, and yeah, I'm looking to that's... see, you know, oh, what, what else he does. Go ahead. Yeah, for sure. Like he, um, Davi is talented. Like to see him be able to, once again, under the confines of Power Rangers, actually do an over the top character, but that be good. That shows his chops already. <laughs> so I'm yes. really excited to see him and I'm on CBS. Like this is this is exciting. I'm I'm really. Looking forward to seeing what he's going to do. Yes, absolutely. I yes, yes, and I'm glad you said that actually because he really is a talented, talented actor, and it's just like it is a shame that we didn't get more of that. You know, we didn't get to see more of that in um in Dino Charge. I understand that. Obviously, you know, we you have a huge cast. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's a huge cast. But, you know, certainly I would have loved to have seen more of what Davi could do. And that's why we have this show so that we can, so that we can. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that we can watch more and, and see what else that these actors and actresses can do. So, you know, yes. But once again, thank you for listening to, the, to tonight's episode. If you have any comments or anything like that, definitely. Um, Please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, leave us comments, you know, whatever. We love to, you know, we love to um, read them on the show and, you know, and we love the support. You know, if you, Mm -hmm. even if you just want to just comment, just say hi. (laughs) Or tell us that you're enjoying the show. You know, uh, we'd appreciate it. We really would. All right. Well, once again, my name is Brandon. My name is Lena. And my name is Will. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.